What's up y'all, out here at the range again, having some fun, doing a lot of testing out here. Some pretty good, nice weather stuff turned out to be, so I'm gonna try to knock out a few more videos while I'm out here. But as you can see by the title and the thumbnail of this one, this is another Heritage Revolver, and this one is purely just a range toy in my opinion. This ought to be a fun little thing, but it's definitely not practical. Let me show you what we're working with. So as you can already see by the title, we got the Heritage Barkeep Boot. This is the new little Barkeep model they just come released about a month or so ago with the one inch barrel on it. I mean, a stubby little old thing. It comes with the one inch barrel. It's already got the bird's head grips already installed on it. So that's a nice little neat feature. Uh, this one in particular has the wood, uh, the black wood grips with the engraved uh, rattlesnake on the, on the sides of it, on both sides, got the rattlesnake. Uh, but yeah, like I say, this is a one inch barrel on this thing. There's absolutely no front sight blade on it. So this is gonna have, to, this has gotta be the most impractical heritage that I've gotten so far. Um, compared it to the, original bar keep this is the two inch model bar keep here as you can see now it didn't come with the bird's head grips it had the standard grips but i've swapped it over so you can see quite a bit of difference between that one and that one i mean it's a it's a stubby little thing for sure I mean, a stubby little thing. So not very practical, but should be some fun out here. Like I say, it's got a one inch barrel, but they, they evidently only measure just what's sticking out. Because if you go to the face of the cylinder, like you should measure a revolver, you're looking at about one and three quarters. Same with the original. They call it a two inch, but if you go from the face of the revolver of the uh, cylinder, it's about two and three quarters. So anyway, just for reference purposes there, but. I think everybody's familiar with these Heritage Revolvers by now, so I won't go into great detail. It's a single action only, 22 revolver. Got the side loading gate, got a six round cylinder. Now, it comes with just the uh, LR cylinder, but I've gotten plenty of Magnum cylinders because I really do enjoy playing with these uh, Heritage Rough Riders, so I've got a bunch of Magnums. This one I happen to have had a rattlesnake on it, so it matched up pretty good with the grips on it, so pretty good look on it, I think. My plans for today is just to have some fun with this thing, function test it, make sure it runs fine. I'm sure it will. I I hadn't had any problems with any of my Heritage Revolvers whatsoever. The biggest complaint I have about Heritage Revolvers is the finish. The quality of the finish leaves a lot to be desired, to be honest with you. It's, it's hit or miss with that finish on them. But for what you're paying, I mean, you have to set your expectations to, to realize what you're getting and what you're paying for. Like I said, I'm planning just to have some fun with it today. I'm going to function test it, plank a little steel. We're going to try to get some boom booms with this little thing if we can manage to hit them. Um, I'm just going to run some standard velocity CCI, and then I got these american quality 22 magnum so it should be fun bill die sent these to me several months ago so i'm still working with these i really appreciate it bill but this should be just a good old-fashioned fun video so let me set this camera up and let's get at it all right y'all i got a feeling this thing might make me look like a fool out here today but we're gonna have some fun any dog on way um wanted to mention right quick too i've mentioned in the last couple of videos i'm using these axle gs extreme uh electronic earbuds out here i've been running them through the last couple of videos just getting a good feel for them i plan on doing a review on them here coming up soon probably in about a week um, but i'm gonna leave some links in the description if y'all want to check them out ahead of time before you you hear what i think about them overall check those links out you get big savings on those links versus going through the site so check those out if you're interested but anyway my targets out here, if y'all not familiar, the middle silhouette, the blue one is 10 yards exactly. Those two rounds on the outsides are about 14 or 15. They're not exactly measured out. And then the pink one out there is 25 yards exactly measured out. We ain't going no further than that. I'll be honest with you. It, I'll be lucky to hit the broad side of a barn with this little short thing with no sight on it, but we're going to see. Um, there's no front sight. Like I say, you just have to aim straight down the gutter on top of the frame there. So let's see what she can do, y'all. I got uh, six rounds of 22 LR in it to start out with so let's see what happens is that six that was six i believe all right, I can't tell while I'm hitting that. I'm gonna go down there and check it out real quick. All right, looks like the point of impact is pretty doggone high for where I feel like I'm aiming at, but it, it's like I say, it's this gutter sight that's, that's definitely causing the issue there. I'm gonna see if I can work it down a little bit, figure out where I need to hold this thing. I 
All right, that was all six of them there. I think I moved it down some there, but I'm gonna tell you, it's it's a guessing game to be honest with you, because when you when you try to go down with it, you lose the front end of the gutter completely, and you're really just guessing. That's all it is to it. All right, got six more 22 LR set up. I'm gonna try to go out there to that pink 25 yard target. I'll be honest with you, I don't think I got a snowball's chance of even hitting one of them out there. I I really don't. Uh, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm really not sure what their thought process was on not putting any front sight blade at all on it. I know it's, it's you know it's supposed to be the end of boot, no snag. But I mean you got an external hammer on it and all that. The sight blade wouldn't even be as snagging as the hammer. So I don't know what their thought was there. But anyway, let's see what we can do out there at that 25, y'all. Well, look, I told I told a lie on myself. I hit that first one. That's probably just pure luck right there. Yeah. I think that was nothing but luck. I think that was just pure dumb luck on that first one, to be honest with you. I'm a glutton for punishment, y'all. I got six more. I'm going to try that 25 again. I, I think what happened is I just had to hold exactly right on that first shot. And, and the, the problem is with no front sight blade, you can't really replicate your hold because, like I say, once you tilt it down and you that front of that gutter disappears, you got no point of reference to come back to. So let's try it again, y'all. Let's see what we can do. There's one. There's one. No. No, that was it, wasn't it? Yeah, that was it. Got two of them on that one anyway. Let's get away from that 25. All right, I swapped over to something with a little more firepower, y'all. I got the Magnums in there now. I got a six rounds of 22 mag loaded up. I'm gonna move back up here to the 10 yarder first and see where I'm at. Like I say, that, that front sight blade not being there is, is a real detriment because on that 25, you know, y'all can see in the camera, the windage is fine. The windage ain't no problem. You line the gutter up. But I, I think I was on the first one that I hit, I was almost too high on the second one. On the two shots I hit on that second group, I was almost too low because I was overcompensating because again once you lose the front of that gutter it's a guessing game you lose it and then you just kind of guess and, and feel like how much did you move it down the neck the last time but anyway let's run these 22 mags through it y'all let's try up here at the 10 yarder again There we go. I can't tell if those were hitting high or low. I'm gonna take a quick look. All right, y'all, another cylinder of Magnums. I'm going back to that 25 again, man. I'm pressing my luck. I'd really like to, you know, like I say, I, even honestly, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm just wasting my time because I'll be honest with you, when I figure out the hole, sure, I'll hit it that one time. But like I said, it's it, the repeatability is just not there. It's, it's almost impossible, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Let's go to the 25 with the Magnums. No. There we go. Yeah, I had to aim. Honestly, I felt like I was aiming about six inches below that pink silhouette out there on that pole to hit that one shot out there. That sun's gone down. This thing got chilly out here again. I had to throw my jacket and my other hat back on, get warm out here. Uh, this is nothing but just pure curiosity, y'all. This ain't, it ain't really no point in this, but I'm curious to see what the speeds are. I'm gonna run the, I'm gonna run this little boot and the bar and the uh, two inch bar keep, see what the inch difference does. So I'm gonna do the LRs first out of it. So I'm pretty close because uh, luckily this thing's shooting high. If this was shooting low like it was out high out there, it ain't no way I'd be doing this. So hopefully I'll be all right with it being high like this. So let's see what we get. 774. 786. 763. 755. 763. And 773, not really as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you, out of a one-inch barrel. Let's try the regular size bar keep. 
All right, the average on that little barkeep boot was 769 feet per second, just in case y'all curious. But let's see what the regular barkeep will do with the extra inch on it. Here we go, y'all. 830. 830 again. 826. 821. 797 and 817 so definitely a lot faster out of this extra inch of barrel so y'all can see there just if you're curious the the regular bar heat with the two inch barrels 820 feet per second on the speed on that one all right let's check out some magnum speeds out of curiosity from the little boot model here be honest i don't think it's going to be that much more than the 22 lr because you ain't having you don't have an opportunity to use up that extra powder so let's see what we get y'all 1037 well that proved me wrong 911 951 1036 1057 and 886 so a couple of those were a big difference a couple of them not so much so it's pretty interesting stuff anyway all right y'all this might be an exercise in futility out here trying to get these booms but i think i've pretty much figured out if i if i aim what i think is aiming at center where it's gonna hit and i hedge my bets a little bit i've got three packs of booms out there so if it does hit one of them it should set all three off and it's gonna be one heck of a show out here so let's see what we can do y'all wish me luck here we go I guess you can't get no luckier than that. All right, y'all, that right there is going to do it today for the barkeep boot. This little thing is definitely something else. I can tell you what, it's a handful to try to get on target without a doubt, without that front sight blade. Um, I'm glad I picked it up. Don't get me wrong now, and it's a very fun range toy. But what I will say is if you're looking for one that's practical, that's, that, that's got practical everyday use, this ain't the one for you. I mean, it, it is what it is. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice little novelty, nice little range toy. If you collect these heritages, it's one that you definitely want want any collections because it's very unique and it's a really fun little unit but like i say as far as practicality without that front sight blade it's an it's a handful to try to get back on target now towards the end out here i'd kind of figured out if i line up the front of my gutter with the back of my gutter on the top of the frame here um, i was shooting about six inches low so but the problem is like i say once you get out at distance and if you try to start compensating and bringing that barrel down you lose that front uh, part of that gutter and and you're just guessing it's a you're it's you're on a wing and a prayer out there man like i say because you might hit one but reproducing that is is almost impossible it's, it's just all luck to be honest with you what i'll probably do uh one of the guys up at my rk is actually ffl and he does gunsmithing i'll probably get him to drill and tap this barrel up here and put a little brass bead on it i think that would really help this thing out uh personally i think the decision to leave the sight blade off of this was a bad decision it would be i know what they were going for you know like just a, a ultra compact in the boot kind of thing and and for what it is like i say it's a nice little it's a nice little range toy but it is not practical at all but those of y'all out there who might have this thing already i know a few of y'all do let me know what y'all's thoughts are i've kind of heard similar to what my my feelings about it all but leave me a comment down below let me know what y'all think about this thing and its lack of a front sight blade but if y'all did enjoy the video as always make sure you reach down and hit that thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification icon so you you can get notified when i upload these new videos check out my amazon storefront affiliate link down in the description like i always ask you if you shop through amazon anyway hit that link up first go straight through amazon for like normal from there don't cost you anything extra and anything you buy from amazon after going through that link i get a kickback from them towards the channel so i really appreciate that again i've been trying out these gs extremes from axel the ear pro really nice so far i'm gonna do some further reviewing on them here in you know a little bit longer i'm gonna give them a little longer to make sure the longevity on them is good the durability is good so 
y'all be on the lookout for that but if you want to check them out already i'll leave some affiliate links down in the description uh, of these and a few other models if you look use those links if you're interested you get a big saving on those links versus going straight to those sites so check those out if you are interested appreciate all my range game members for hitting that join button and every single person out there who supports the channel by hitting that thumbs up by subscribing to the channel and leave me some comments down below let me know what you think about this little barkeep boot i had a lot of fun out here today i'm coming out here in a few more days to do a big batch of jelly tests so make sure y'all stay tuned for that stuff and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon